guys, Rachel CPR here and today I just wanted to share some tips that I found to be helpful with um, my wash and go hair. I get a lot of questions about um, achieving a good wash and go with defined curls and hair that doesn't feel dry. So I just wanted to make this video to just answer some of the questions that I've been receiving. I have a little outline here so that I don't forget anything. So if you see me looking down, that's what it is. Okay, the first thing that I would think would be the most important thing would be hydration. Hydration starts before you even start with your co-wash. It starts out of the shower. You want to take some type of conditioning agent or your shampoo product, which is something that hopefully is not a non-sudsing product, and you put that on your hair before you even get into the water. And that's really, really important with a good wash and go because particularly if you live in a place where there is hard water, like where I live, there's hard water, that hard water is really going to get into your hair and cause a lot of problems and it's going to set you back from the very beginning. So a really good thing to do is to simply put your conditioning agent or your non-foaming shampoo on your hair before you even get into the shower. And you will concentrate it right in the top area because that's usually where the water hits first. So that's one of the a really big key in having a great wash and go. Then when you do get into the shower and you rinse all of it out, your hair is clean and you apply conditioner, leave your botanical conditioner in your hair. Even if it doesn't say that it is a leave-in, if it's a botanical conditioner without any of the bad things in it like the silicones, the parabens, the mineral oils, you can leave it in your hair with no problem and you can actually um, extend the use of your product that way. So that's a really, really good thing. So instead of having to buy two products to say wash your hair, I mean to for a conditioner and then a leave-in, you can use just one product if you're using the right condition. Something else I find is very helpful when you are doing your hair is control in your hair. Because if you don't have control with your hair, depending on how much hair you have, you tend to do too much manipulating and that breaks. The other option that you have that I've used and I normally use and I use for my hair the way it is now is to pin my hair up. I go through my entire process and I still do, and with this, I did the plunking. I let my hair stay wrapped for about, I would say a half an hour while I was just getting ready to leave. And then I took my hair and I pinned it up in the back. And that was the way I left the house. I didn't do anything else to it. That's the way I let it dry. And what I do in the course of my day to make it dry a little bit more quickly and so that it doesn't have certain areas that are overly stretched is I take my clip out of my hair and I shake my hair and then I place the clip back in if it's not dry enough for what I want it to be. And that is my favorite way of doing my wash and go. Like for today, this is second day hair. I did all of those things. I did the plunking. I did all of these things and I pinned it up. And then throughout the course of the day, I would just take my hair down and I would shake it. And what that does is it makes my hair have the shape that I want it to have. It's going to make my hair more airy so that it's not just set in a mold. And it makes it dry a lot more quickly when I do it this way. And so, but you have to be very careful not to manipulate your hair a lot when you're doing that because the more you touch your hair, again, the more frizz you're going to get in the less definition. But this is, that's my favorite way of doing it. I think that it works out best and it makes it so that my hair doesn't look as if it's um, unstyled. Like to me, I get more of a styled look with my wash and go because I do like for my hair to look like okay I took a lot of time styling it but in reality I took less to no time to style my hair and I love that so the only the thing the final thing that I would suggest in the whole process is to add some type of an oil to your hair and that can be your oil of choice of course some people prefer coconut oil some people prefer olive oil prefer olive oil um, I use a mixture a blend of oils um, or you can use the Diva Curl Mirror Curls. That's a wonderful one. That's the glycerin based product, shine product, and it definitely gives you shine. The Jesse Curl products, they have an oil mix that's really, really good. It's a mixture of avocado oils and olive oil and a couple. I think there are, uh, there's another oil mixed in with their blend. I personally mix my own oils and I do mix avocado oil, grapeseed oil, olive oil, 
and I put a touch of glycerin in mine as well. And I just go through and I just scrunch it through my hair and smooth it over my hair. And that's usually when my hair is, if not completely dry, it's basically dry. And then what I do after that, I take my hair and I pin it back up just for a few more minutes. And I always find that by pinning it back up and smoothing it back, I get, I always get the shape that I want somehow. My hair is longer in the back than it is up here. I have layers all over the top and then I have, um, my hair naturally grows a little bit longer in the back. Well, I guess it's not that it grows longer in the back as much as the curls in the back of my hair always have to be shorter than everything else simply because they are not as tight as the rest of my hair. But because I've decided, I mean, I did just recently cut my hair, but I've, um, I've decided to let it grow down a little bit more, so I'm not shaping it back there anymore. But that would be the final step, just putting your hair, putting some type of an oil on your hair. And when I say put oil on the hair, I don't mean a bunch of oil. I would say for my hair, I use about the size of a quarter. When it spreads out, it's about the size of a quarter for me to scrunch into my hair. And that's actually on the heavy side because olive oil and avocado oil are very, very heavy. And I use the size of, of a quarter this time because I didn't, and I actually only use the avocado oil on my hair this time because I didn't have my mixture. Normally with the mixture, I use a dime size on my hair because that's more than enough. With all the conditioning agents I've just put in my hair, my hair is completely hydrated. It's not lacking in moisture at all. I use the oil as a sealant only. When you're using really good products and you are doing things the right way with your hair as far as not using products that um, will take away from the moisture, you actually don't need a bunch of um, oils and butters and things like that to keep your hair hydrated. And the first couple of times that you do your hair, it may not seem as if it's as moisturized as you want it to be, but if you actually work through the, pro the process, doing it for, I'll say, a solid week, you'll notice that your hair is starting to stay in its formation, its curl formation. It's feeling much more hydrated because if you are co-washing your hair, let's say um, three times a week, generally speaking, your conditioner only lasts three days in your hair. So you want to make sure that at least three, at, within at least three days that you're redoing your hair. Your hair is going to be much more hydrated. Your tangles are not going to be there as much because the dead hairs are being removed all the time. And you're going to have the products in your hair that are constantly keeping your hair hydrated. Just from the conditioning. Your hair needs conditioner, it needs water. Those are all your first avenues of moisture in your hair. The oil that you put in your hair should just be used to seal that in, as well as your styling aids. If your styling aids are going onto your hair, you definitely will have enough to seal in all the moisture that you just put in with the water as well as the conditioners. So those are all tips that have worked for me and I hope this is helpful to you and I would love to